Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Pal World. And I'm going to show you in this video probably one of my favorite creatures or pals in the game, and that is the Shadow Beak. Now, you, I felt like I had to do this at nighttime because the Shadow Beak is a very unique creature. It is one of the last things that you get in the entire game, and this is how you actually breed them. So you can uh, get a hold of some of their eggs. So I've got a ready to pop egg right there. And then this one can go inside of our area. Now, here's the crazy thing, right? So shadow beaks are really strong. They're the second to last actual creature in the game. And there's only two ways to actually get them. And that's to breed them or actually tame them in the wild. Now, just so you can see our pal deck, right? Here is our shadow beak right here. Looks super freaking cool. Uh, born from the depths of insanity its very existence should not be having lost all genetic ties to other pals one wonders if still could even be considered a pal now their habitat just so you can see you can only find them as a rare super rare uh tame up in number three for the kind of like zones it's only gettable there sometimes and then you can see at nighttime and daytime it'll spawn up there but it is super rare i've gone many many times and never actually gotten one in the wild but the easier way to get them is to just breed them. Now, in order to do that, you're going to actually get yourself right here. You see this guy right here, super useful creature. And that, my friends, is the Astagon. Now, there's a ton of ways to get Astagons. Um, I can make a video about that later, but Astagons are actually really easy to get. They're a more common uh, pal that you can get in the upper right corner in the same island, actually, that you can get the one we're talking about right now with that shadow beak. But uh, you can get the Astagon up there. It's a more common spawn. And then you can also breed them in like 25 different ways. It's kind of crazy. But the Shadow Beak can only be gathered by actually catching it or breeding it. Now, breeding it is a super useful method, obviously. And the reason that the Shadow Beak is so cool. Let's go ahead and go back to him. Where is he? There he is. Um, it's, it's just a unique riding mount, right? It's a special thing. You can see the partner skill is the modified DNA. It's a really funky creature. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it out so you can see what I'm talking about here. Let's go ahead and show you what it looks like and why it's one of those things where you're like, what is this thing? So this is the Shadow Beak. It looks so cool. Uh, can be ridden as a flying mount, enhances dark attacks while mounted. You do need the actual um, technology in order to ride it. I think it's like one of the last things you get actually. Yeah, there's the Shadow Beak saddle. Um, so I don't have enough for it because I need four points for it. Um, but in my solo player mode, this is hey, they're just fun. I like the Shadow Beaks a lot. So in order to breed for them, now that I've kind of talked about what they are, the two things that you need are that Astagon and a Kit Sun. Now, Kit Suns can be gathered pretty quickly as well. Um, I'll show you where they spawn. So the Kit Sun and Ast so totally different areas, by the way. I think Kit Sun's like 60, if I'm not mistaken. They're one of my favorite creatures. Uh, 61. So the habitat for these guys is they only spawn at night. And they only spawn on this weird little frozen mountain. I have not found them anywhere else in the entire game, except for this frozen mountain. I have found a total of one. And I've played for many, many, many hours. And I've looked many, many times. You have to breed them. If you haven't seen my video on breeding those, it's actually pretty easy. You have to, I believe it's a ruby and a pen king in order to actually breed those. But uh, so you get one of them. And you breed one of those with your Astagon. And Astagon, again, can be bred in like 40 million different ways. Uh, yeah, Suzaku is one of the ones that can get it. And then I can't remember the other one as well. Um, but uh, yeah, so that one is a super cool creature overall. But that Shadow Beak, hard to get a hold of because it's either you get lucky and it's over there or you have to breed it. Um, and the Astagon, there's just so you can see it. You can get it in the exact same spot, day or night. A little bit more common, but I feel like I see more Astagons over here than I do Shadow Beaks. But Shadow Beaks, super freaking cool. I don't know why I find them so awesome, but I just do, right? They're just, to me, they're just so unique and they're fast and they have some special abilities. So anyways, that is how you get a hold of the modified DNA Shadow Beak. Um, hopefully that made sense with the Astagon and there's like, Again, that's how you get that one. And then the kit sun. And then you just breed those. In order to breed them, you're just going to put them inside your breeding chamber. And as long as you have eggs present, um, you, you will get eggs present as long as you have a cake inside of the actual breeding farm itself. And then you just have to wait for the cool down timer. It's about 10 minutes, give or take, for that little wheel to actually go. And uh, then once you have that, you just pop them over here inside of your little thing. You can see this one's going a little bit cold. Um, I can go ahead and heat it up with this guy. There we go. 
And uh, so, yes, if you haven't seen my video, how to get a Phalaris, Phalaris are super cool, too. Um, but as soon as it goes, oh, we're just a little hot. Well, we're a little bit off on that one. But uh, yeah, so that's how you get it. And hopefully this video helps you out. And if you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach.